Hello everyone. I am tessellating hexagons, and if you know me, then you know that I absolutely hate stealth missions in video games. So logically, you would assume that I hate stealth games. And you're right, I do. That being said, <laughs> I am also a furry. So, ladies and gentlemen, and all other friends besides, welcome to my Let's Play of the one and only of a series of four games at least. <sighs> I'm sure the logo will appear eventually, but look, here comes a special boy. In France, Le Police. Yeah. Let's play Sly Raccoon, which is, it's called in Britain for some reason. The American title is Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoons, which makes so much more sense, but I'll get to that in a moment. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. So, I don't know if I've ever actually played this game, to be fair. I do own all three. I have played some of the third game. I have played, maybe, some of this one, so I'm still getting used to the controls. I have, uh, definitely never played the second one. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be Vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them, and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Pardon me for absorbing the, uh, the tutorials, but I do need it, because, yeah, I don't know if I've ever played this game. I know I've played the, se the third one, definitely never played the second one, and I'm just logical like that. Hey, he could double jump, I just assumed. So yes, I despise stealth games, and yet this is a very, very stealth game. Collect that. I don't even know what the coins are for, but I'll take them anyway, because it's, it's a PlayStation 2 collectathon. Those are lasers. This looks like a fun time. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. Surely that seems a bit extra. Like, surely you only need one of those things to happen. Either kill the thief or alert the police. Except this is the police's police place, so... Also, addressing Carmelita by her full name. That, that's clearly how people speak. Now, what, what am I standing on? Is this a, an elevator lift of some flavor? Ah yes, just break the fire hydrant and you'll be able to get in. Now, were those lasers on a timer, or did I just deactivate them by smashing the smooth? Nice job, you're in! Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door! Now, I'm playing this on a... Hang on a minute, is there some way of inversion that control? I'm playing this on a, um... On a console that I got... F okay. Wow, spoilers. Uh, from a console that I got from my sister because she had it going spare. Because... We, we already have a PlayStation 2. I played Clone of Lunatis Veil vale on it, but my father wanted it back for some reason, so here we are. And it, it is a bit old. It is a bit well used. It took a while to set it up, so can I break this? No, okay. So I don't know if the controls are a bit wonky or if it's the camera or what, but hey, look, there's a way out and also probably our way in because we can't just go through the door. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. I, I swear, Sly, you're just sort of walking on nothing a little bit there. But whatever. Why would you just leave the window open? It's just... I don't want to say begging to be burgled, but I mean, come on. Surely you know of Sly Cooper's existence. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. That's a bit of a a bit too easy of a code. Well, not... The code itself is secure enough, but why would you have it so easily accessible? Just put it in the database for all to see. 
Then again, Sly is so extra in just slamming the vault open. Such a camp pose, I love it. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Now, I don't know much about Sly Cooper. I do know, for one, he leaves calling cards because he's an honorable great thief, like the Yatagarasa up in this business. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. I ship it. So yeah, because this mission takes place in France, I just headcanon that Sly is just French. And I do know a bit of his backstory. I know something to do with cookies in an orphanage. I, I don't know. I'm sure we'll, we'll find out about that in due course, but... First of all, I ship these two. She's some kind of Spanish by the sound of it. You missed. I'm not even playing that well because I don't know how good this controller actually is. I'm not sure whether I'm compensating for it or not. Also, well-placed getaway van. Later, bitch. If I can jump through the door. But yes. You can't me, raccoon. Later, potato. Which is a thing I actually said to a friend of mine from university yesterday, so that was fun. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. When the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. Duly noted. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. As I said, I, I need these tutorials. But, yeah, I had headcanon that that orphanage was in France. The cutscene probably proved me wrong, but I could barely hear it, so I just had headcanon that, that Sly is, is French. All I know is, in the third game, it's confirmed that he is terrible at speaking Italian, so... I don't know. Any French people in the audience? Parlez-vous l'Italien? I think that's French for Italian. Oh, I'm confusing myself. Anyway. I've already plotted a route to our first target. Something else I appreciate about this game. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. 
The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. I don't know if there's such a thing as the Welsh Triangle, but yes, the first mission takes place in Wales. All of the, the uh, missions or chapters or whatever take place in different countries, and the first one is Wales. Question though, you were just in Paris, why did you go around the entire world instead of just crossing the English Channel? Good grief. Well anyway, we have arrived in Wales. I f I, okay, I do vaguely remember this part of the game, so I must have played this myself. I, I know I haven't played it to completion, I've seen it played to completion. But I haven't done it by myself. And if there's any unsubtitled audio, I may talk over it. Why? I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? <laughs> that is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> their, their, their teamsmanship, if that's a word, is just so cute. But then... Sly himself is cute. He, he is husbando of the game. He is husbando MVP. Bottle! Now this is very interesting. If the message you just found appears to be some sort of club, I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. So that's kind of a collectible in this game that I'm loosely aware of. You collect the bottles and you get the thing. How did I know that just pressing so- Okay, so circle is just the do thiefy things button. I- I'm okay with this, I can live with that. Oh, there's more up there! So I'm going to try and be as 100% as I can. So I please stop turning around. <laughs> He's turning automatically, and so I can't just hold in a direct a direction. A direction. You know, as opposed to a night direction. Haha. <laughs> I wonder how many people this will be the first video of mine that they see. The pieces are there, do the, the brain maths. Is there anything of value over there? Because there was someone over there, and I kind of want to see what the deal is. Are there bottles over here, or are you just a person working on the railroad? Yeah, there are bottles over there, I guess we should go over this way. I don't know what the most efficient way of doing this is, and I can't guarantee that this will be a 100% playthrough, but I shall do my darndest. Huh. That was dramatic, I wasn't expecting that to be a, a one-hit punch at this. This camera control is going to freak my bean. Can I climb this? This looks climbable, and yet, here we are. Oh. These things are more breakable than they look. Oh! Everything is more breakable than it looks! Did I get every bottle? Have I been to the bottom of every bottle? Can I break anything else here? So, this playthrough, as I've already said, is going to be functionally blind because I've seen two Let's Plays, and, uh, well, more like one and a half. And... Yeah, I have very little experience. So this should be fun! I hate stealth! <laughs> Hold on, Sly! See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion! You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner! Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress! Nice. <laughs> now... I suppose this could be considered a metaphor for social anxiety, that uh, you, if, if you get caught, then you catch fire and die, just like in the real world. Now, can I, can I, can I, can I have a leg, or do I just have to book it and hope for the best? Am I on fire yet? See, that wasn't quite the explosion I was expecting. Really? You're still going? Huh. Can I just... There we go. That's not what I was expecting to be the thing that... I, I had a feeling we were able to, to destroy those... Uh... Hang on, can I climb up this? Oh, I just... My... I'm so used to Spyro games, I I'm expecting to climb up things, but no, I have to break them instead. So, okay, that was a bit of a... A crap performance on my part for the very first searchlight, but hey... We didn't die. It's fine. I shall be... 
I should be the worst iteration of Sly Cooper ever. Okay, so the title of the game, if we don't have another cutscene, but we do. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Well, th the reason why it's raining is because you're in Britain. <laughs> Why is this a surprise to you? Ooh, there's more bottles. How... Okay, am I... Am I being too paranoid about missing collectibles? Because I don't think these are... Oh, that was not how I thought... Okay, I thought this platform functioned differently from how it do. But yeah, the title of this game, for some reason... Oh, that, that was unexpectedly whoosh. In... Europe, it was released as Sly Raccoon, which is more like a description of what he is rather than anything else. But supposedly, it's because in British English, Cooper means penis. I have never heard this, and I have spent all 21 and a half years of my life in Britain. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Gotta love heavy-handed tutorials, but they're necessary because I don't know how to game. And that I know there's a section like that in the third game, chapter two of the third game, that is just impossible for me to do. I tried it and failed many times, that's why I stopped playing it. Also because I didn't want to ruin the experience when I got around to Let's Playing it, although this was before I started Let's Playing, so I don't know. But yes, this feels like European censorship done to American sensitivities. So, the... the, the this is the one time I will agree with the American title of the game. It's Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Not just Sly Raccoon. Because... It just... Cooper isn't an expletive, and it never has been. So, like, that's one thing I do hate in gaming in general, where they use America's oversensitivity and demands of censorship to censor other countries like, versions of the game, because they think, oh, America is this sensitive, so clearly the whole world is like, no, in Europe we will swear and bitch and moan at the drop of a hat. We don't give a flying fuck. You, you, you can... You, you, can, you can say Cooper on a box if you like. It's a surname. But it's, a reg it's a regular surname in this country as well. We don't care. It doesn't mean penis. Shut up, America. God, I'm trying to control our eggs. The world shall taste my eggs. I'm still missing four bottles. Did that destroy the... Okay. See, I'm, I'm never going to get used to that. The um, the camera controls being left to right inverted. And if, I swear, if there was a button to... Or like an option in the options menu to reverse that and I just didn't see it, I will just die of eggs. I can't climb up there. I shall have to climb around a different way. There is the safe that we need the code for. large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues in bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Ah, yes, Bedley, get me inside that box. Question mark. Hey, well, I am enjoying myself so far, because, you know, it is an action-adventure platformer first with stealth elements rather than being 100% stealth, so I can live with that. And hey, we got all the bottles. You found it, Sly! What a coincidence, I found it. What's the number, Bentley? The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Again, well, actually, no. I, I would say that's such an obvious code. It's a random three-digit number, so no, it isn't. But, you know, hey, we're 1% complete with this game. That's good and tasty. It's a page. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Just... okay. I, I shall get used to that here, and then... In the distance, that looks like the end of this level, I hope. I, I think that's how this game's segmented. Ooh! That is, that is fine. I like the effects on that. That may be useful, it may also not be. We shall see. Now, if this does what I think it does, then I have been able to continue to be desolating hexagons. I'll see you in the next episode of Slag Cooper and the Thievius Recu. Just Recu. That's clearly how I harmonize the two versions of this game's title.
Stop censoring us, America. Clink. But yes, okay. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.